Uh, good morning everyone, uh, welcome back to my little patch. Um, I recently shot a video on this cheap 7 egg incubator. So I'm just doing a, um, a follow up and I'm going to candle the eggs today and see um, if we have any anything growing in these eggs. So if you're looking at the temperature on this incubator, it's at 38.6 at the moment. I've got it set at 38.5. Now, the reason I've done that is I've looked at, I've watched lots and lots of videos on this incubator and people keep telling, saying how the temperature is wrong and doesn't match what's actually going on inside the incubator. So I've got this digital thermometer and I pull that out. I stick that in that little hole that's in the top of the incubator and put it in the center. And I do this three times a day um, just to check that the temperature is right. And when that's sitting on 38.5, this says 37.9. So it is actually off by a bit. Uh, like I said, I am just keeping track of that um, just because I don't want it to spike and you know, get ridiculously hot in there and ends up cooking the eggs, or it doesn't drop too much. So that's what I've done just to try and keep it at 38 or as close to 38 as possible. So like I said, I've got it set at 38.5, and it jumps up to 36, 37, but that's still within the 38 range, so that's that's not too bad. Okay, so... um. This is day eight when I, uh, from when I originally put the eggs in. Uh, when I originally shot my first video, I had three eggs in there. And then of that, that morning, I added two more, which were from the day before. Um, so I've now I've got five. So I'm going to check. Uh, I'm going to cancel them now just to have a look to see if have any anything happening in these eggs. Um, and see if we should move forward or not. All right, I'm just going to turn the light off and uh, get my torch and that ready. Okay, so I've got my torch. sure I can see that in the video no, there it is right about there okay so here we go <clears throat> okay so this is one of the the two that I put in a day late and that looks pretty good to me there's one. Oh yeah, that looks that looks successful too. Look, I can actually see a little dot right in there. And a lot of I can see some veins happening there as well. So that looks pretty Pretty good too. Just make sure I put them in the rotation. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but right there, moving around. I can see some movement happening right there. And that looks pretty good too. Oh yeah, that's well and truly successful there. And I can see it right up on the top here. There's a little, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not, but it's definitely something moving in there. Yeah, 
And the last one. Oh, there you go. Can't see anything moving in that one, but it's definitely. Definitely looks like uh, they're all pretty good. Just turn the light back on. So they all look, um, yeah, pretty fertile. Uh, they look like there's something happening in there. Uh, there's a lot of growth. Even the last two that I put in of that of the day I started the incubator, which was eight days ago, even they look like they've um, they've got something happening inside them. Um, so if you do decide to to buy this incubator, I do recommend getting a one of these uh, something that you can put in there just to keep check of the temperature. Um, even now that that's spiked up to. 39.4 it's still only like 38.3 38.4 at the moment um, like I said there is a temperature difference between that and what I actually get with this um, so yeah I'm pretty happy with that at the moment um, looks like it's working uh, the other thing I want to show is um, about other people on the other videos talking about um, the holes that are in there um, when they start to hatch they might fall into those holes or step into those holes so I've made this up now this is from the you know, dollar store uh, junk shop you know, cheap all-purpose hardware store um, it's part of a peg basket that you put you hang on your clothesline um, I'll show you what the originally looks like. So it starts off like this. So what you do is you get there's two two like this and then there's a piece that wraps around there that forms a basket. Um, and then this just clips onto your clothesline. So what I've done is I've measured the lid. And I've pretty much just cut right around that circle part there and halfway into that and back around. And that is the perfect size for that. Um, so on day 18 when I uh, when I do the lockdown, so what I'll do is I'll place that in there and then lay the eggs on their side so as they hatch they'll have more a uh, smaller gap um, and I'll be able to lay the eggs sideways um, if I'm successful with this I might actually look at um, taking that the egg holder that's in there and put that in there and just have the eggs laying on their sides um, I'll probably only fit maybe four eggs just to be comfortable um, I don't, I don't think this egg egg holder is uh, this incubator is um, is uh, suitable to hold seven eggs. Um, I'll probably go with four. I've got five in there now, and I'm thinking that's pushing it. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely go with four. Uh, if I'm successful with this, I will try it again. And like I said, I will replace the egg holder that's in there with this. Um, I'll definitely make another one. But yeah, so if you're looking for an option, because I've seen people use paper towels or uh, draw liners, that rubbery draw liner stuff that sits on the bottom. Um, I went and looked at um, plastic strainers and possibly cut out the bottom of that. Um, but I came across this and went, you know, that's pretty much the exact size for that. Um, so like I said, I measured the lid. So what I'll do is I'm just going to slide this on top of the other one because I don't want to mess around too much trying to get it exact. And then when I'm when I'm finished with this, then I'll probably use the, the other one. 
uh, and measure it up and do an exact fit and possibly replace the egg holder with one of these. Um, I'll just have to look at probably cutting out maybe a square out of here just so I can get the water in into the, the into the channel that's in there. Um, yeah, but at the moment, um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Uh, like I said, uh, um, everything looks like it's traveling well. Uh, the eggs are, are growing. Uh, well, obviously I won't know till hatch day if we're successful, but at the moment I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'll do another video, another update video. Uh, probably day 17, 18 when I go to lockdown um, and I'll show and I'll be adding that to it and putting the eggs on their side ready for hatch and then uh, I'll candle them again just to make sure they're, they're um, fully developed uh, if there is life in the egg and then hopefully uh, I'll do another video on hatch day if I'm if I'm uh, successful and i'll do an overall review then of uh, what i actually think of it okay thanks for watching my video uh hopefully uh i've uh given you guys some input on or some advice on what what you should be doing okay thank you bye